Hi everybody, it's your basic queer bitch. Uh, sorry for this improvised video. I'm literally in my room holding my phone with my hand. I just wanted to talk about the new Dracula season, the Titan seasons that's coming in because I'm obsessed, I'm freaking out. And I don't know if I should maybe like review this season because you know, I don't care that much about Drag Race and I always talk about Drag Race, but that's not what I'm really passionate about. Uh, so I would like to make some reviews about Dragula, but like, am I able to keep up with uh, my normal everyday schedule? And I don't know, I'm gonna try, but then another thing, like what language should I review this in? Because there is no one do it in Spanish. I don't know if there's going to be a couple people this season. And I know, like, most of you guys speak Spanish anyway for some weird fucking reason. So, I don't know. But, okay, let's talk about the cast. And please answer below if you want me to review the season. Because if I don't have some type of encouragement, I'm not going to do it, to be honest. I have a lot going on. But... Okay, let's talk about the cast. Okay, okay, okay. So, first up is Yovska. Like, oh my god. Yovska is the creepiest creature. Like, I love her so much. A legend, a legend. Then, Victoria Elizabeth Black. Like, we all know she is so talented. She is so brilliant and so freaking creepy. And so likable in a weird way. And she hasn't really won anything, and that's like not fair. What so fucking ever? I'm so excited for her. <laughs> like super excited. Uh, then we have Kendra Onyx, who is like the baddest bitch. She is the one that had the accident, like uh, fire breathing, wasn't she? Do you say like doing fire things? She burned her face. And then she did this fire number in Dragula. Like, that is a badass bitch. Like, oh, I love her. Um, Abora. Abora's coming. Of course she's coming. Like, Abora's creepy as fuck as well. Like, so creepy. Like, just her normal, regular bone structure is so eerie. And so, I don't know. I just love her. And she is also, like, so... I don't know, like backstage, her personality, a bit problematic sometimes, you know, I, you know, I'm very excited. Then we have Melissa B. Fierce, who I love. I was just watching season one again, like I watch all these seasons, you know, and repeat. I just start them over again and again and again. And I was watching season one recently and she is such a, I just, I just like her very much. She's like an old school, but you know, like there's a lot of different ways of being alternative. And Melissa is the type of drag that pushes those boundaries. I don't know. I just love her. Then we have, okay, okay, so one of the drag queens in general I'm most obsessed with, and you should all know this if you know me whatsoever, is Coco Kane. I love that girl so much. I feel like she is my bitch. Like, she would be my friend in real life. And that's, there's no other way to explain it. She is such a punk cool bitch. I adore her with all my heart. I watch a lot of her lives on Instagram. Like, I love her. You do not understand how excited I am for her because she is my bitch. Never met her. <laughs> she doesn't know I exist, but I just am obsessed with her from the very beginning. And another one I'm like super, super obsessed with is Hoso de Ratoma. Hoso is also, in a weird way, my bitch. She is so funny. She, her vibes, like she is so chill, but so bad bitch. I don't, I just love her energy. She is so like wildly creative but also like interesting she's a very very interesting artist i 
love her. And for me, her Twitter account is the best thing that has ever happened to Twitter. Love her energy. She's like my twin soul somehow, love her. Um, and I'm so happy like for both of them to be in that season. I don't know, I'm like super happy. Astrid Aurelia is also in that season. That's gonna be cute with Hoso and everything else. And then we have Erika Lash. I wrote it up all in like a receipt. <laughs> then we have, uh, um, yeah, the girl that did like the anime things. I loved her personality. She was like a little, I don't know, babyish, but badass. I don't know. I'm very excited for her too because I'm sure that her drag has evolved a lot. And who was the other one? Eva Destruction. Like, come on. Like, I'm, I'm so excited. So excited for all of them. Especially super, super excited for Coco Kane and for uh, Jose de Toma. But I don't know. Oh, should I review this? It's going to be a lot of fucking work and my life is like already very, very crazy. So if I should do this, leave a comment below. I don't know how many people are even going to watch this, but well, you know, tell me to do it because if not, I won't. So just looking for some encouragement here. Okay. So, okay. That's all. I love you. Love you. Bye, Bobby.